Yo, what's up dudes, it's your bruv, Eagle Bruv, and we're back with episode 5 of our Borderlands 2 Perlesa Weapons Guide. Today, guys, we have the Assault Rifle for you, known as the Saw Bar. In my case, we have the Wild Ass Saw Bar. OP level 10, the red text says suppressing fires. Of course, we're going to show you guys how to get this gun, who we're going to be farming, and then give you guys some gameplay and go through the wiki at the end. Now, to get the saw bar, we are going to be going back to District Peak again. If you guys have seen the last couple videos, you know this is the method that we've been running for these Gen 1 pearls. So we're going to Digistruct Peak. We're going to be farming the final boss, the WTF OMG boss, whatever you want to call it, at the end of Digistruct Peak. If you guys want to see a full video on how I do this, broken down by the guns everything like that i will put a link of course to that in the description but it lets you pass through all of the digistruct peak that you don't have to really run through and spend a lot of time doing so you can pass through that and then just get to this last boss which does drop a pearl weapon 100 percent of the time that's why we are farming this boss and also will drop the saw bar 12.5 percent so pretty simple boss of course if you are using a gun zerker which i highly recommend you still can do this glitch if you have any other characters as well. So you don't necessarily need the Gunzerker, uh, but it definitely helps out and makes it a lot easier. So uh, here we go. There's the kill. You guys can see there's the saw bar drop. As I mentioned, this boss will drop 100% pearls every single time you kill it, but it does have a 12.5% chance to drop the saw bar. So there it is. Now let's go ahead and jump into the wiki and show you guys some gameplay. Sawbar is a pearless and assault rifle in Borderlands 2 manufactured by bandits. It can be obtained randomly from any suitable loot source, but has a higher chance to drop from legendary loot midgets, the OMG WTF boss, and Uranus. Now this gun might look a little familiar as it's pretty much a reskin of the Madhouse legendary. Also kind of has the same vibes as the Chopper Unique, again all bandit assault rifles, uh, but it is a reskin of the Madhouse. Pretty much is the exact same thing in a way, just... Uh, maybe a little bit better. The special weapon effects, the red text says, suppressing fires, always incendiary. After a set time period, shots fired spawn three other projectiles that travel out in an angled before exploding. The usage and description says, at the appropriate distance, the saw bar is capable of hitting enemies behind cover with explosions. The explosions each will deal full amp damage, making this weapon very deadly on large flesh enemies at the proper range. I have seen some saw bar kills on bosses like Terramorphous, maybe even Hatterax. Those type of bosses, I think this thing will absolutely do work on. And yeah, honestly, man, the saw bar, I've never really used it before. It was pretty decent, especially when those grenades, those extra three projectiles would show up. You guys can see that it will actually shred the enemies. Some notes, the saw bar skin is actually that of a purple rarity of bandit weapons. I mean, it looks just like the Madhouse to me, but maybe it's not an exact reskin of the Madhouse. Purple variant, interesting. The saw bar's main projectile has no splash damage. The three additional projectiles, however, deal full weapon damage as well as 100% splash damage, resulting in a 600% increase in damage. This splash damage cannot, however, be boosted by grenade damage bonuses. So if you guys do have the extra projectiles, they will not only do an increase to splash damage, but also weapon damage, resulting in an increase to damage to 600%, man, that's pretty crazy. Both Sawbar's main projectiles and splashes can cause burn effects, therefore each shot where all projectiles connect will have a 31% chance of causing a burn effect. You guys can see as I'm going through here, man, we're just lighting these enemies up. That is it, man, that's the Sawbar Pearl Weapon Guide, again, Pretty good one to have, definitely in the backpack. I don't know if I'll be using this as my everyday weapon, but you might have some really good use of it with Axton, of course, getting into like the assault rifle trees, stuff like that. Uh, but definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys have used the saw bar. If you do use it consistently, who knows? I haven't really played with Axton too much, so I haven't really dabbled into the assault rifle tree. And you might even get some good use with Krieg out of this as well with the fire damage. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the saw bar. Of course, if you do enjoy the content, man, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Sub to the channel. I appreciate you as always for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.